Hey, what's going on? I'm Mike and in today's video, I'll be going over high ticket affiliate marketing for beginners. And if you're someone that's completely new to the idea of making high ticket commissions, then you're definitely in the right place. I'm going to share with you how you can make a thousand dollars or more per commission, meaning one referral to a product that you don't even have to create yourself. Now, if you take a look over here to the right on the screen, it says, Hey, Michael, this was an actual email for an affiliate commission of $1,600 that I receive for only one referral and I get these all the time. And now that you've seen the potential of what is actually possible, let's jump right into the training so you can do this for yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. What is high ticket affiliate marketing? It's when you become an affiliate for a company that sells higher priced products and you promote these products by referring customers to the affiliate link that that company provides you. And when someone buys through that link, you earn a commission. And what's typical of high ticket affiliate marketing, the, the payouts are usually $250 or more. Anything less than $250 is not considered a high ticket product or a high ticket uh, commission. But generally, when you come across a high ticket program, you're going to earn a commission of most likely $1,000 or more. But some start off at the two, uh, $250 range. So how do we find these high ticket programs to actually promote? Typically what you would do to find out an affiliate program is you'd go to Google and you just type in company and affiliate program if you have a specific company in mind that you want to promote. But since you're a beginner and you're just starting out, what you can also take advantage of is affiliate networks like ClipBank and JVZoo to find these high ticket products. So let's go take a look at that really quick for reference. So here we are at ClipBank.com. And this is a marketplace that has a ton of products for any category or niche that you might be in. And if this is your first time, all you have to do is click this blue button right here and you can create a free account. And then you can start browsing through the marketplace and see what different products that they have that you could possibly promote. Another one here is jvzoo.com. And this one, I would say, focuses more on softwares, though they have a whole range of different products as well. And just like uh, ClickBank, it doesn't matter what your niche is. You'll find the product in here and software products are usually higher priced. So you'll definitely find a lot more high ticket uh, items inside of JVZoo. So when you're choosing your high ticket program to promote, there are a few things that you actually want to consider. Uh, first is being high commissions. You want to make sure that they're going to pay out high commissions. It's got to be worth your time to promote. Second is you want to be highly valuable. And what I mean by that is, is if you're promoting a software, you want to be a quality software. You don't want to just be something that uh, somebody put up together real quick that's real glitchy or has a bad user interface or uh, people have a bad user uh, experience with. You want to be a quality software or even a uh, program that might be teaching people how to make money online. You want to make sure that it lives up to what it says it's going to do. So you want to make sure it's highly valuable. And third, you want to be sure that it has a responsive support team, which is probably the most important uh, because sometimes when you're promoting these products, yeah, some, some of these um, affiliate partners, they, they're a little late on commission payments sometimes. So you want to make sure that, you know, you can easily reach their support uh, team, whether it be through email or maybe a Facebook uh, community, something like that. But you want to consider these three things in here whenever you are considering a high ticket program to push. And uh, lastly, if you're just starting out and you don't have a program, you can always check out the link that I have under this video to my number one paying affiliate program. It's definitely something you want to check out because if you want high ticket commissions, then you're going to want to check that out. Now let's talk about why it's crucial to have a funnel when you're promoting these products. So you just can't put up a simple website and just start promoting these products or just start taking your affiliate link and blasting it all over social media. You've got to have a funnel when promoting any affiliate offer or product and a funnel consists of a page that captures your leads contact information before sending them to your affiliate link or sales page and I want to show you an example of that now see this is why most people struggle when they're starting out with high ticket affiliate marketing 
and why a funnel is crucial. See, now, if you take a look at this, the whole focus of affiliate marketing is to get traffic to send to your lead capture page. But this is what people tend to do when they're just starting out. They'll promote on Facebook or TikTok or YouTube, and they'll send all that traffic straight to their affiliate link, which is a sales page. And the problem with that is 90% of people don't buy the first time they see your product. So when you're taking that approach, you might get one out of 100 people to buy, which means you're not getting many commissions. And guess what? You could never reach out to those people ever again. So this is right here the proper way to do it. You want to take that traffic and you want to send it to a capture page. This page right here allows you to collect their email address so that therefore it'll add it to an email list where you can market to them later. Because like I said before, most people don't buy the first time they see your product. So generally it takes about seven or more times for somebody to see your offer before they make a buying decision. So that's the whole point of this capture page is just to capture their contact information so you can remarket to them later by sending them follow up emails. And what happens is once they have gone through your capture page, you get their email address, it takes them over to the sales page. And by doing it this way, you're able to get much higher payouts. So as I said before, let me reiterate, 90% of people will not buy the first time they see your offer. So you can follow up through emails to convert them later, just like I showed you in that graphic. So once you have all of that stuff put together, what you really wanna do is you wanna focus on getting 30 or more leads opting into your funnel a day. With this amount is where it's basically the sweet spot of where you'll start seeing sales. And so when people put their uh, funnels together, their sales funnels together, when you're just starting out, the biggest issue is you don't, you're not getting a lot of leads. That's probably the biggest complaint that I hear uh, from people who are just starting out in high ticket affiliate marketing. And so what you have to do is you have to focus on one main traffic method that you enjoy and make it a goal to get to those 30 leads a day. So for example, I get tons. I, I probably get 30 to 50 leads a day on Facebook alone. Facebook for me is a gold mine where you know YouTube might be your platform or TikTok might be a good place for you, but focus on one traffic method. You want to create content on that platform and just and stay consistent at it day to day until you start getting to that 30 or more leads because that's when you start to see the sales roll in. And this can be either free or paid traffic. You can post on social media for free or you can pay for Google ads, you can pay for YouTube ads, Facebook ads, it doesn't matter. Whichever is best for you and your goal, you can do that, but you wanna focus on getting 30 plus leads because once you start hitting that benchmark of 30 or more leads a day coming through your sales funnel, that's when you're gonna to start to see more sales and commissions coming in consistently. And next, you wanna reinvest your earnings. So when you've gotten to the point and you're getting 30 plus leads a day, 50 leads a day, and you're starting to make sales, next thing you know, you're making you know $1,000 a week, $2,000 a week, all the way up to maybe five or six thousand dollars or more a month so as you make sales what you want to do is you want to take a portion of that money and reinvest it back into advertising to scale your business and so a good idea is to take at least 30 percent of your earnings and reinvest it back into your business so let's say for example you're promoting a product that is paying you a thousand dollars commission for each referral what you wanna do is take 30% of that $1,000, which is $300, and put it back into paid advertising. It can be Google Ads, it can be YouTube, it can be TikTok, whichever platform it is that you are using as your traffic source to pull these leads in, reinvest that into paid advertising on that platform. So therefore, you can scale your business even more by getting more eyeballs on your offer and into your funnel and make it a habit and stick with it weekly. If you do this, you will start to see your business compound, your commissions compound, 
and the next thing you know you're entering five figures a month and then to six figures a month as well i've seen it happen all right so if you like this training go ahead and be sure to like it comment and subscribe for more just like this also go down below and get my free three step freedom formula guide and learn how you can partner with my number one recommended affiliate program below other than that i'm mike take care and i'll see you in the next video